Secretary will read the amendment. Floor amendment number one by Gutierrez. Thank you, Mr. President. Chair, recognize Senator Gutierrez on your amendment. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> Members, as the President suggested, you may want to read this bill, this amendment to this bill. This is not a gotcha amendment. I did show this to Senator Zaffarini briefly yesterday. I spoke to her about it. She did not see the bill. But I told her what I was trying to do. And I need to talk to you about what we're trying to do. This amendment is not a gotcha on politics. It's about trying to do the right thing in a space that we need to do the right thing. We have heard for the last 10 months about having an age limit on sales of assault rifles, militarized weapons to people below the age of 21. What this amendment seeks to do is have a prohibition on the online sale, the online sale of weapons to people that are below the age of 21. That is all this amendment does. It doesn't bar people that are below the age of 21 from purchasing a gun at a gun store. It doesn't bar people from purchasing a gun at the gun shop, even though those things need to be done. We have to be able to say something to the NRA and others out there that we have to regulate the weapons that are killing our youth by the youth. And we have to be able to have a piece of regulation that says, how in the world do I verify online that you're even 18? How do they do that? Do you give them, take a photo of your driver's license? Send it up to Daniel's defense where this gun was purchased? Sent over to a gun shop that serves no other purpose other than a, some P.O. box at this point because they have no skin in the game. They don't get to charge a fee for the processing. You're simply there to pick it up. I understand the very nature of what this is about. This has nothing to do with trying to trap you. This has something to do with trying to prevent the access of these types of weapons to these young people. And if we're not going to do it at the gun shop, and if we're not going to do it at the gun show convention, then we should damn well try to do it online. There are five rules to handling a weapon. Five rules. This young man knew none of those five rules. Everybody in the military knows those five rules. There's one rule to being a legislator. One rule. And that's vote your district and represent your district overzealously. I apologize to you if this offends you or if you think that this is some kind of a trap. It isn't. We must do something, and I feel very strongly about this issue. I'll keep overzealously representing my constituents on this issue until we try to do something. And so with that, that pretty much explains the amendment. With that, I move adoption. But before I say that, I want you to know that the facts of this amendment squarely fall into what happened on May 24th in Uvalde. This young man ordered 1,667 rounds of ammunition that arrived at his house without even so much as a question as to who he was, how old he was, or who was picking him up at his house. And he ordered online the Daniels Defense Rifle that shot 21, 19 beautiful kids and two teachers. We have to figure a way that we can at least verify who's on the other line of that computer. 
This is not right where we are. I'm asking you to truly consider regulating the online sale of assault weapons. I move adoption. Senator Perry, you're recognized. Let's have a Court question purpose. for the author of the amendment. I yield. Um, Senator Gutierrez, there's not a single one of us on this floor that if we could pass a single piece of legislation that would prevent that going forward in the future, I guarantee you, I, I, I know my members and I know the process, but there's no such animal. But specifically, the question I have for you with regard to online gun sales, is it not correct that there are no guns being shipped to individual homes that you literally show up at an FPL provider and verify your age, who you are, and in that order? So on the gun side, I'm not going to argue that the, the, the munition side can't work that way, but on the gun side, you have to pick that one up and personally and verify your age, and that's where the background check is done at the federal level. Uh, that's where those checks are made, but you don't get to have a gun sent to you personally at your home to walk away. I believe that is correct. That is correct, Senator, and that is what I just suggested in my layout. Unfortunately, I'd be glad to take that amendment as well. 1,667 rounds showed up on the front lawn where any kid could have picked them up. You're absolutely right. And the gun was purchased at the gun store, was picked up, rather, at the gun store where they verified those things. The question then becomes... Senator, is that gun store has no skin in the game. They didn't sell anything. They're basically some clerk. This young man showed up on day one, bought his first assault rifle, showed up on day two, bought over 300 rounds of ammunition, showed up on day three and picked up his second piece of ammunition, which is the one that he ordered in, on the Internet. Not so much did anyone at that store in Uvalde, Texas, not so much did anyone think that that was a significant, a significant set of sequence of events. And we got to be able to do something at least about the online. I do appreciate piece there, it. Senator and Perry. I do appreciate it. And you said exactly on the front end of the conversation that's the problem. You said that FPL dealer that he picked up the gun from has no skin in the game. And truth of the matter is. There is significant skin in the game, but where we fall miserably in our background checks and stuff is we do not have an enforcement from the feds that do their job. And I can point to every tragedy we've had on this floor the last six to ten years that there was some systemic breakdown in the process, specifically usually back at the federal level for the background checks. So with that, um, that's all I needed to know is to make sure everybody's clear of what the current process is today for purchasing a gun online. Thank you. Senator Hughes, for what purpose? Thank you, Mr. President. I, looking at the, the proposed amendment and the bill, uh, I raise a point of order against further consideration. The amendment is not germane to the purpose of the bill. Yeah. Would you bring that forward? Any members who wish to come up and listen, you're more than welcome. Members, I've listened to the both sides, I've listened to the parliamentarian, and in my view, this is not even a close call. The point of order is well taken and sustained. You're recognized. Respectfully. What Mr. purpose? Mr. President, respectfully, it is my intent to appeal the ruling of the chair. Yeah, why don't you bring your appeal forward? Senator Hughes. Members, I'm going to have Senator Hughes take the chair. Members, I'm going to ask uh, Senator Huffman to uh, take the gavel. Judge Huffman, you're the perfect person. You're the judge. Members, may I have your attention? Senator Gutierrez has made uh, an appeal on the chair's ruling. Does anyone wish to speak on that issue? 
Madam President. Uh, Senator Gutierrez. I believe I'm allowed a pro on the issue. I, maybe you were about to say that. Hold a moment. Yes, ma'am. You are allowed to speak on the appeal. Do you wish to do so now, sir? Uh, at your permission, yes, Madam yeah. President. You're recognized, Senator Gutierrez. Thank you, Madam President. Members, you heard my layout as to what the amendment was. The point of order was called by Senator Hughes, and it was on germaneness. The objection is that my amendment is not germane to the bill. There is discussion, members, about class and classifications in the ruling. And there is discussions about bots, about bots. The bill, members, says nothing about bots. The bill itself is the online sale of goods. Prohibitions concerning sale of goods online is the second line. For commercial purposes is the third line. May not sell, use, or cause to be used any technology. There are bots being used even in the gun sale space, if we are to assume that this bill is about bots. There is not one mention in this bill about bots. But bots are being utilized to buy guns online for people that are selling AR-15s to cartels in Mexico. 600,000 AR-15s get sold to Mexico, 68% of which are from Texas. Now that said, members, this bill is not about bots. It is a generalized bill about the online sale of goods and the prohibition concern concerning goods. The generalized use of the word goods, nothing else. It could be hair blow dryers, guns, chewing gum, whatever. Your vote right now is not about how you feel about a common sense gun safety bill that you should do. It should very well be about processes, about the process in place as to what prescribes our rules and procedures, what is germane and what is not germane. I've been told, oh, it's not even close. There is no discussion in this bill about bots. The word is not even used. It's not even used. But even if you were to buy off on that argument, people can use bots, if you were to buy off on that argument, to buy large amounts of unlimited guns and ammunition utilizing bots. So my argument on this particular rule, members, is that this amendment which prohibits the sale of a good online, any good, because the bill is about any good, and it does not limit or qualify what a good is. It is the generalized, common, everyday use of the word good. And any qualifying measure that seeks to qualify that word in any other way or define that word in any other way is simply erroneous, respectfully. And so with that, members, you can take this particular vote right now as a vote for procedure and what germaneness is, and then we can have a question, if you were to agree with me, on the amendment itself. You can take it for what it is. But this particular amendment is about the, the prohibited sale of an online good, just like the bill itself is about the prohibited sale of goods online. Not certain goods online. Prohibition concerning sale of goods online. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Senator Gutierrez. Senator Hughes, you are recognized. 
Thank you, Madam President. Members, briefly, as the issue has been very well vetted and, of course, the discussion took place uh, in front of the chair, this is about the rules. This is about germaneness. Many times you hear the accusation that we don't have rules in the Senate, but we do. And we have rules for a reason. We are a nation of laws, and we respect the rule of law. And so a couple things we'll just point out. The uh, bill analysis, which is, of course, part of the official packet on the bill, begins with these first two words, a bot. It goes on, short for robot, also called internet bot, and it goes on from that. That's the first two words in the bill analysis. If we do look at the bill without even going very far, just one line beyond the one that's been read, it says, uh, pro prohibitions concerning sale of goods online for commercial purposes. A person may not sell, use, or cause to be used any technology, device, or software in the sale of a good on an internet website that functions as a bypass in the purchasing process, disguises the identity of the purchaser, permits the purchaser of a quantity that exceeds the maximum number that may be sold, and it goes on. Clearly, that is the class of transactions and the class of goods to which this applies. These are simple rules of statutory construction, which our rules adhere to. Uh, regardless of the merits of the amendment and the fact that this conduct in the amendment, I believe, is already against the law, under our germaneness rules and under statutory construction, the amendment is clearly not germane to the bill. So I'll be voting no on the motion to, uh, to overrule the ruling of the chair. Senator Gutierrez, uh, for what purpose? Will the gentleman yield for a question? I do not know if that's allowed in the process. We do not take questions on appeals. Okay. Is there a closing, Madam President? You may close, Senator Gutierrez. Okay. Members, I'll be very brief. Nowhere, it's called a bill analysis for a reason. The bill itself, nowhere does it mention the word bots. Number two, but even if you take that argument to be true, the sale of goods, including guns, can happen by virtue of utilizing bots. This amendment is germane to this bill. Uh, members, the Senate has been asked to, and we, so we will stand at ease for five minutes. Senator Hughes, for which purpose do you rise? Madam President, uh, uh, point of information, please. Yes, proceed. I'm, I'm sure everyone understands. So the motion is, shall the ruling of the president stand? So please help me understand. So then uh, the president ruled on the, uh, ruled on the point of order that the amendment was not germane. So if a member agrees with that ruling that the amendment was not germane, a member would vote yes on this, on this vote. Is that correct? Correct. Thank you, Madam President. Is there any confusion? Any questions? All right. Look. Call the roll. Secretary will call the roll. Alvarado. Betancourt. Aye. Birdwell. Aye. Blanco. Aye. Campbell. Aye. Creighton. Aye. Eckhart. I can't see. Flores. Aye. Gutierrez. Hall, Hancock, Hinojosa, Huffman, Hughes, Johnson, King, Colcourse, La Mantilla, Menendez, Middleton, Miles, Nichols, Parker, Axton, Perry, Wertner, Sparks. Springer. West. Whitmire. Zaffarini. There being 29 ayes and two nays, the ruling of the president stands. <laughs>